And, and one of the things the Prophet ﷺ said, if a culture, if, if fornication becomes prevalent in a culture, then prepare yourselves for the wrath of Allah. You see. And the wrath is in those children. Because they're filled with rage. And look at what's up. We've now reaching 50% in this country. Children born out of wedlock, we're reaching 50% or past. And look at all the crimes. Look at all the violence. There's rage. If you go into the prisons in this country and ask these men, they don't have fathers. They didn't have fathers. They don't even know who their fathers were. That's, that, is, that, is a, that is oppression. That's unjust. You can't do that to a human being. They have the right to know who their father is. And so Islam came to preserve that right through the prohibition of fornication and through the guidelines of sharia in proper marriage. And this is why Islam recognized any marriage outside of Islam. If two people become Muslim, they do not have to renew a marital contract. Islam recognizes marriages of other deens. You see, it doesn't, it's as long as it is a marriage that is recognized by the custom of a people. But two people living together with no responsibilities, Islam rejects that completely. And people forget that in 1968, it was major news in this country that a woman in, on the East Coast was kicked out of her university because she was living in sin. 1968, kicked out of a university because she was living in sin. People forget how quickly morals have changed in this culture. There was an article in News and World Report about uh, fornication, uh, uh, premarital sex. And what they were saying was even conservatives won't condemn adult consensual premarital sex. They'll condemn teenage sex, but they will not condemn uh, adult, consenting adults, because everybody's doing it, the article said. Well, why should the children, why should the teenagers not do it? if that's their example. You see? Why? And everything in this culture is saying have fun, enjoy yourself, the media is showing it, promoting fornication, most of the uh, television sitcoms and the films, they don't have relationships. Marriages are usually dull and boring on television, uninteresting. It's, it's soap operas, what's exciting is illicit relations. Really? This is what they're seeing and this is what they're being conditioned to believe. 